Uh huh. So you thought my channel is over, huh? Not so soon, boys. Not so soon. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum Privyat and hello everybody Privyat, what does that mean? Privyat means hello in the Russian language Like my previous video, I've continued the trend and in today's video I'll be using the numbers and the greeting which I've done was in the Russian language Alright? So, if you are a new subscriber Oh, you're not a subscriber yet Many of you guys are not even subscribers to my channel yet You just watch my video and then just go away If you are new to this channel I hope you will enjoy this video and watch my previous videos as well and do subscribe today's video the topic has been chosen from my instagram page the description is in the link below so in today's video you'll not be seeing much of my beautiful face so you'll be watching those interesting and fascinating places that i've combined together for you all so without any further delay let's go Adin. Around 50 years ago, a vast molten cavity known as the Darwaza Crater opened up in the desert of North Turkmenistan. There is no other place in the world like this. In around 1971, Soviet geologists tapped into a cavern filled with natural gas. The ground then collapsed, leaving a large 70 meters hole in the ground. To avoid the poisonous gas discharge, it was decided that the best solution would be to burn it off. Geologists expected the fire to use all the fuel in a matter of days. However, to their surprise, the gas is still burning till today. Locals have dubbed the cavern as the door to hell. Dwa. Lake Redba. Less than an hour away from Senegal's capital city lies the unusual lake called Lake Redba. This captures the unsuspecting visitor's eye due to its unusual vivid pink color. The distinct rose hue is caused by Donaliella salina bacteria, which is attracted by the lake's high salt content. The area produces red pigment in order to absorb sunlight, and that is in excess amount, thus giving the lake unique color. Its color is especially visible during the dry season which lasts from November to June. Not many living organisms are able to survive in Lake Redba because of its high salt content so it serves mainly as a tourist destination and source of salt production. One fantastic fact, every boat dies after six months because of the excessive salt which is present in the lake. 3. Saganu Bamboo Forest in Japan, this forest is on the outskirts of Kyoto. Towering green stalks of the famously versatile plant sway in the wind. Creaking eerily, they collide and twist, and the leaves are rustling. Located in the gorgeous Arishiyama district of the western Kyoto, the forest has gained popularity in the recent years, and it's always growing its popularity in the future as well. For the best experience, it's advisable that people to head out in the early hours in the morning or the late evening and avoid weekends completely because it's completely packed on the weekend and everyone loves to go out over there to enjoy the serenity of the nature especially in the fall and the spring season one fantastic fact there is no admission fee and it's open 24 7 it's free guys what else do you want Chiteri. Oymyakon. The remote village of Oymyakon is in the eastern Siberia. Oymyakon is in the north of the sea of Sea of Okhotsk. It is the coldest permanently inhabited place on earth. Ironically, Oymyakon takes its name from the Russian for water that doesn't freeze. A monument in the town square commemorates the day in 1924 when the temperature fell to a record 96 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Can you believe that, guys? Pipes freeze, so most restrooms are plumbingless outhouses, like the old age. The ground freezes and few crops grow, so the local diet is mostly fish and meat, sometimes even eaten frozen. Engines freeze so quickly that many cars are kept running all the time. 
your eyelashes and saliva will freeze into painful little needles on your face as you walk down the street. One fantastic fact, Oymyakon is more closer to the Arctic Circle than it is to its nearest city. Fiat Socotra The unusual landscape of Yemen's Socotra Island resembles something from a sci-fi film. The remote island is in Yemen and it is the home to around 800 rare species of flora and fauna. About a third of these are found nowhere else on the planet. The blown out umbrella shaped dragon's blood tree has come to symbolize Socotra. They have caves which run to a length of 7 kilometers in length and mountains which are around more than 1500 meters high. One fantastic fact, the umbrella tree's distinctive shape is even depicted on Yemen's 20 real coin. Shias, Kawachi Wisterian Garden. This garden is a private garden in the wooded hills of the south of central Kitakayosho, famous for its spectacularly presented large numbers of wisteria flowers. The garden is open to the public seasonally during the wisteria season, which usually peaks around late April to early May, and during the maple leaf season, which is in the autumn. The garden's most prominent features are two roughly 100 meter long tongues made only and only of wisteria trees, which are of differing varieties and colors, ranging from white to dark purple. Sem. Sontano de las Galandrinas. That was a hard name and a long one as well. But not only the name, this cave is 1,200 feet deep and 994 feet wide. It is the largest known cave shaft in the world and it is also known as the Cave of Swallows. It is an open air pit cave in San Luis Potosi in Mexico. As unbelievable as it may seem, it was mostly unknown to the average Mexican before 1966 when it was first spotted by scientists from the University of Texas. I hope you have enjoyed these interesting 7 places which I have combined together for you all. I really enjoyed making the video and I hope you guys also select and select topics like this in the future so I can make a video more on these type of topics. You can comment below about which was the most interesting place which you guys have found and maybe in the future I can make a more detailed video about those places. If you are new to this channel, I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you think I deserve to be subscribed, make sure to do that. And for my old subscribers, you guys are awesome. You guys are helping me to keep growing and you guys are the one who keeps motivating me. So thank you for everyone, everything and for everyone who is doing that. You guys can show support by giving a thumbs up. There is a subscribe button which will be over here. Make sure to click on that. I think that's it, right? Right? Alright then. Until next time. Bye bye.